hello friends welcome to your channel in today's video we are going to cover the main component of centrifugal pump main parts of centrifugal pump we are going to cover main parts which are related to process uh, which are the very important as a process point of view so uh, let's start the video before to start video i have one small request if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel also to like the video okay so let's start the video so uh, first component of the centrifugal pump is motor motor is an electromechanical device what is motor motor is an electromechanical device okay you can see the image it convert the uh, electrical energy into mechanical energy it converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy it take electrical energy as input and deliver mechanical energy uh, as output what happened in motor motor take electrical energy and uh, give a rotation to the shaft which is connected to the motor okay uh, the types of motor uh, there is ac motor there is dc motor single phase motor uh, three phase motor flame proof motor spark proof motor depend upon your application and depend upon your uh, process you have to select the, these types okay so let's move toward the second component and the uh, second component is nothing but uh, coupling okay so you can see the image of coupling it is also mechanical device what is the role of coupling coupling uh, is anything but it, it is an interface in between uh, motor and pump shaft okay it give connection it give connection to motor and shaft so uh, also it play the role that it uh, transfer transfer the rotation of uh, motor from motor to shaft okay so next component is shaft shaft is a it's, it's look like a rod you can see the image so it is a rigid rod you can see the image okay it took the rotation or mechanical energy from the motor with the help of coupling and deliver that more mechanical energy or rotation to the coupling oh, so sorry to the impeller which is inside the casing okay which is inside the casing so this is the main role of shaft and it is a mechanical device and you can see the image and it is a rigid solid okay so this is the shaft and uh, next component is impeller okay so first of all electrical energy uh, motor take uh, motor took electrical energy converted it into rotational energy okay uh, coupling help give as a interface in between uh, uh, pump shaft and motor okay so pump shaft uh, took the pump shaft take the uh, rotational energy from the motor and uh, deliver it it means uh, deliver this rotational energy to the impeller which is inside the casing so what is the role of impeller you can see the images first of all yeah these three uh, images are there okay so uh, there are three types of impeller open impeller close impeller and semi open impeller in this video we are not going to discuss the types you know in details in, uh, like when we have to choose uh, which type which type uh, and there different parameters are there for selection of the uh, impeller as per process we will cover that information in a separate video so okay so main role of impeller is uh, it's give the uh, rotation rotation to fluid the fluid which we are going to pump uh, the impeller is in uh, is in the inside of the casing okay what happen when the uh, uh, fluid which we are going to pump enter into the pump casing uh, this rotation uh, rotating impeller okay uh, rotate that uh, fluid okay this rotating impeller rotate that fluid and it increased uh, velocity and pressure of that fluid 
by creating centrifugal force so this is the main function of uh, impeller what impeller do impeller increase the velocity and pressure of the fluid which come inside the casing next is casing we have already discussed some information about casing casing is nothing but hello part which is the main body or we can uh, say as a stomach of the or uh, internal of the centrifugal pump okay so, so the casing have or uh, impeller inside it okay and one part of casing is uh, is uh, connected to the uh, suction nozzle and uh, another part to the discharge nozzle this all the pumping process happen inside the casing okay the casing also have two to three types but in this video we are not going to discuss okay uh, so next component is uh, inlet and uh, outlet of the pump we can call it as a suction nozzle or suction side of the centrifugal pump and discharge nozzle or discharge side of a centrifugal pump so from suction nozzle fluid get enter into the casing or into the pump and from discharge nozzle pump fluid get out or from the pump or from the casing we always design a uh, suction size bigger than discharge size there are several reason uh, main reason is just to avoid evitation if you want uh, more explanation i have given one link in description form uh, description box please check you will get a better idea okay so next component is uh, seal okay what is the uh, seal you can see the image of the seal okay seal is also mechanical we can call it as a mechanical device it prevent the leakage leakage of the fluid leakage of the process fluid uh, it, it prevent the leakage of the process fluid okay where is it located it is located uh, at the point where shaft is en uh, entering into the pump or inside the casing or inside the pump that point this uh, seal is located it uh, has a uh, several types like single mechanical seal double mechanical seal and gland type of seal okay so yeah next component is uh, bearing okay the main role of bearing is just to reduce the friction we, we know that we have already discussed that about the uh, shaft okay one part of shaft is connected to the uh, motor with the help of coupling and another end okay one end is connected to the motor with the help of coupling and another end is connected to the impeller which is inside the which is inside the casing so okay and some part of uh, uh, shaft also in contact with mechanical seal at the location where shaft is entering into the casing okay apart from also some part of the shaft also is in contact is in contact with body of the pump so there uh, this uh, bearing come into the picture so main role of bearing is just to make uh, friction zero okay so it is for the safety purpose for uh, shaft just to make friction zero yeah so these are the main component of centrifugal pump uh, okay so again uh, i think it is good if we repeat the everything uh, in short again it's kind of conclusion so what are the main components uh, motor okay motor uh, to uh, electrical energy as input and deliver uh, mechanical energy as output next is coupling coupling uh, it's nothing but it interface in between the uh, pump shaft and uh, uh, motor then it's a shaft shaft took the rotational energy from the motor and deliver it to the impeller which is inside the casing impeller is the uh, main uh, component of the pump which rotate the fluid which uh, uh, create the centrifugal uh, force inside the 
casing or inside the pump and it uh, increase the fluid velocity fluid pressure again there is mechanical seal again there is suction nozzle again there is discharge nozzle and uh, again there is base frame so this is conclusion for the today's video and uh, for today it is i think uh, it's uh, more than enough uh, okay so if you feel this video is uh, informative or this uh, from this video you have gained some knowledge please like and uh, if you still if you have if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe i will come uh, in some days with uh, another useful stuff 